Well, today I want to introduce you to something pretty pretty different than what we usually talk about. Of course, we enjoy your backyard. You're looking at birds and nature and, of course, the moon and the planets and the sun and the weather are all part of that. And Celestron sent me this Eclipse Smart dedicated solar observing telescope. It's real uh, affordable and uh, real easy to carry and use. But really, I was kind of amazed at how much fun you can have with this. The whole idea of this is it's dedicated to observing the sun. It has a built-in uh, ISO certified solar filter so that you can safely look at the sun through the eyepiece. And it's basically a little telescope. It's a 50 millimeter objective lens or approximately two inches in diameter and it has a, a little shield on it and a built-in filter and it has optical coated glass. It comes with a 20 millimeter eyepiece which provides 18 power magnification and it comes with a neat little uh, solar finder scope that you can use with your back facing the sun so that you can line up the center of the sun and get the scope close to where the sun is and then find the sun through the scope and I find that to work really uh, great, real easy to tra find and track the sun and of course like all my reviews I'll always show you a lot of good examples and you can see how it works. So I was really pleasantly surprised with this. I mean it's very affordable. Well it retails for around $150 but you can usually see it on the various sales on Amazon and the websites and whatnot somewhere in the $100 to $150 range. And it comes with a small full-size travel tripod. It's lightweight and uh, aluminum. I mean, it's not an expensive tripod, as you would expect, but it uh, serves a purpose for uh, light use and travel. And then it comes with a, a nylon backpack, which is you know, kind of nice that you can put everything into and uh, use it as a travel package. And really, one of the reasons that I was so interested in a solar scope right now is we got an eclipse coming up on uh, October 14th, and then, of course, the big... Uh, total eclipse next April 8th. So I wanted to try this out on the sun this week. Just, you know, you can use it for an eclipse, obviously, but it's also good for day-to-day obser -day observation of the sun. And that's what I found really fascinating. I mean, I've watched the moon for years and I've never really thought too much about the sun other than during the time of the eclipse. But testing this out, I was really fascinated by its ability and this, this inexpensive little package to really see some detail in the sun and see all the sunspots. And it really, uh, really kind of opened your eyes about uh, what's going on up there with the sun on a daily basis. So let's go through the scope real quick. I mean, it's, it's pretty simple. It's got a, uh, a simple focusing device right here, and it's uh, fairly smooth. So the basic telescope has the finder scope on here, which you use with the shadow of the sun to get it in close uh, proximity to the sun. Then you do your final adjustments through the eyepiece. It has a little angled adapter that goes in like this and locks down. And then your uh, 20 millimeter or 18 power eyepiece that fits in here and locks down. And, you know, as it is, it's an affordable uh, telescope with some of the components are plastic, but it's well made and well designed and it works well. And you can see the sun just fine through the eyepiece. And I was able to rather easily put a smartphone adapter on here, put my smartphone on and take some video uh, of the sun and the sunspots just using the uh, telescope as it is. It works just fine. You can see I've got the aiming device aimed on the sun. A little cleaning towel over the front of my phone to keep the glare from getting into the camera lens. And it's real windy out today, so it's a little shaky. But uh, pretty impressed, really, that it works works quite well. i come around here, and, and there's the view on the camera. And it's actually pretty darn impressive. You can play around with some of the various camera exposure settings to get an even better view, but the sunspots show up really clearly. And that is cool. So windy. No, to be fair, it is just incredibly windy right now. And I've actually got a towel hanging on the phone, so that's why it's shaking. But hey, that's pretty impressive. With just a cell phone and a very uh, low-cost solar telescope. But what really blew me away about this little inexpensive telescope is how uh, versatile and flexible it is because when you take out the 1.25 inch standard eyepiece, it'll accept any other 1.25 inch eyepiece. I took a 16 
by 48 eyepiece off one of my extra low dispersion spotting scopes and it fits right in and not only does it fit right in and lock in it worked fantastic and I put the uh, phone adapter on it and I'll show you some examples of that okay we've got it all set up with the uh, Eclipse Smart Telescope and you can see it's real easy to uh, line up the location of the Sun with the spotter and what we've got here 16 by 48 millimeter adapter from another ED spotting scope that I have that fits right in the eyepiece and then I've got a smartphone adapter on there and you want to get the lightweight aluminum guide that's thin and then I've got the smartphone in its cradle and it works great you know this is a very <laughs> inexpensive system so I've replaced the tripod that came with it with my Suray carbon fiber travel tripod which is much more substantial but it also costs 200 plus dollars. If you're going to take the basic system that they give you and start adding bigger eyepieces and putting a phone on the end of it then you're going to need more support. Now it seems to be very well made. I mean you want to be careful when you're adjusting this but it certainly is capable of supporting a smartphone and an eyepiece and a lightweight adapter and you just be gentle with it and it works fine. Now the one thing that you want to do to make sure you get good quality pictures is to take a thick towel like I have here and just put it over the front of the mount and the camera. And that, because you know, you're, you're pointing the telescope right at the sun and there's always a little gap between the uh, camera of your smartphone and the eyepiece and that sun will get in there and just blow it out. So, and of course you put the, the towel on here, it has no effect on the adjustment of the camera because the camera's looking through what's coming out of the eyepiece and that's what you want. You can't zoom in too much or the sun will be too big for your uh, your phone. Uh, you know, I use it usually around the 24 to 32 power and got some pretty amazing results. And that was cool enough right there that you could just put on a different eyepiece. What about if I put on the uh, 1.25 inch spotting scope camera that I have from my extra low dispersion scope and put it on here. And it just sl slots right in here like so. This is a Wi-Fi camera that attaches to spotting scopes in a standard 1.25 inch uh, fitting and it uh, records videos and puts it on a uh, stores it to an SD card but you control it with an app on your phone by Wi-Fi and so I'll show you some examples of that and what's amazing about that is you know I say oh I'll just put it on there and see what happens well I put it on there and oh my gosh it worked perfectly it took some unbelievable 1920 by 1080 here is the uh, Sun and you can see the sunspots here and of course at the same time I'm recording a uh, HD video it'll be actually be have the clearer view but you can see even here you can see the sun spots and this is going to be a AC video so it's blown up pretty good of course you don't have a whole lot of adjustment that you can do with it but it you know it does it's a pretty amazing thing that you can just sit there and look at the sun through the Eclipse Smart Telescope on your smartphone app so it doesn't get any easier than that it costs about a hundred dollars for the uh, and I've been using it that off and on for quite a while on another spotting scope so now you don't have all the adjustability and control that you have with your smartphone camera and the quality may not be as good as you could possibly get with a high-end smart camera. In fact, the only thing about this camera is it's not adjustable and it's at a fixed magnification. So this uh, Eclipse Smart Scope is an equivalent to a 360 millimeter lens f7.2 but uh, it's a 360 uh, millimeter telephoto lens basically. So when you put this on it's going to be fixed at 360 millimeters. So at uh, 1920 by 1080 the entire globe of the Sun uh, just doesn't quite completely fit on a uh, 1080 high frame but it takes some amazing pictures and videos as it stands it's a real nice system it has a very easy aiming system so you can find the sun. It's very easy to follow the sun uh, once you uh, once you do find it. And the existing eyepiece works fine. You can replace it with any eyepiece that's uh, 1.25 inch compatible. And it just depends on the eyepiece. Some eyepieces will work just fine. Some eyepieces uh, you know, may or may not work as great. The spotting scope camera just fits in the same way. It worked fantastic. Now the only downside about this is it's so magnified and for an eclipse you, know, you won't have much room to work with in the video frame to, to, to follow the eclipse. You'd have to be kind of like constantly uh, uh, tracking it with your uh, tripod. So this actually almost has too much uh, magnification 
for an eclipse. So in summer, I had a whole lot of fun with the uh, Celestron Eclipse Smart Solar Telescope. It's designed only for observing the sun. You can observe the sun every day, and there's always something going on with the sun. You can look at sunspots. And of course, it's really designed, you know, for the, the eclipses. And there's the eclipse coming up in October, and then the big eclipse coming up in April. And I think that's the last eclipse that we're going to have for, you know, re easily uh, available eclipse to most people for uh, a couple of decades. So, you know, this next eclipse is going to be a big deal. Now, when it comes to observing the sun, safety is the, the biggest concern and you definitely don't want to have any possibility of looking at the sun with the unprotected eye because you can get uh, you know you can seriously damage your eyes if not even blind your eyes so that's what's so nice about a solar safe product like this it has a, a ISO certified built-in irremovable filter and this telescope is dedicated to solar observing and uh, as long as you're looking through the eyepiece through this filter you know everything is safe so for the price point that this typically sells at it's really a, really a fascinating optical product that uh, you can have a lot of fun with now I'm gonna get a uh, solar observing kit from Celestron to uh, test out in the near future and it consists of some special glasses and filters and things like that and I'll do a little test of that too and I'll put links to the products that I've mentioned in here along obviously with the Eclipse Smart uh, Telescope, which is the, the centerpiece of the whole operation in the description of the video. But now is really the time to be given serious thought to the big eclipse coming up next April.